Hey there, I'm Simon and welcome to Photo Bike Kids. So, the next two challenges in our series of photo challenges for kids aged between 5 and 15 are going to be a bit unusual. The first one we're calling shoot something red, shoot red. So think about something you've got around the house that's red, something in the garden, maybe it's a toy, something in the fridge, it could be a packet of sweets. You just use your imagination and come up with something that shows us a really great photo of something red. Now, as ever, you can use anything to take your pictures for this challenge. You can use a smartphone, you can use a camera if you've got one, or you can use a tablet. Anything that has a camera in it, you can use. And for, uh, for some tips and tricks on how to approach this challenge, and maybe to give you a few ideas and uh, a few examples of what you can do, I'm gonna hand over to our resident photo expert, Professor Gardner. Thanks, Simon. So as you heard, yes, we have to try and photograph things that are red. Now, if you don't have many red things around the home, you can focus on them specifically, or you could try going with a different color, but primarily you wanna focus with red. And in my room, I've got a few red things going on, but I'm gonna to have to do some hunting to try and find the others. Okay, things like these, kind of red, don't really count, but if you can't find many red things, something like this where red is featured, more than welcome to use. So now we need to work on some angles to make this look good. So starting off, we're gonna go with our square on shot, like so. Now it is slightly moving, but not enough for us to get some blur. So now we're gonna try and go at an angle. And if you want, remember our trick of flipping upside down. We're gonna try that. I can't see what I'm getting, so this is just taking a picture. And let's see how that came out. Okay, that came out interesting. Again, not showing much red, but gives us an idea for an angle. What do we have here? We have a red mushroom. Right, let's try something. I'm gonna go wide. Gonna try and get a nice angle. There we go, try a few more. I'm a big fan of the low angle. Oh, you've got this heather bush just here. So we're gonna try and shoot through that to try and create some depth. Let's give it a go. go done so that's your focus is to take things that are red so I've run around I've got a few things that are red but I want to focus and talk about how to make them interesting and what we're going to do is we're going to use this very mundane plant with a cactus inside it and I'm going to show you some different angles different approaches that you can do to try and make and get a bit more out of your red photos. So we're gonna use the camera, which is right here, to talk about angle. So as you see, we're kind of going on a bit of a downward angle, which is kind of interesting, but it's a very simple picture looking down. But just simply changing the angle just makes it seem a lot larger than life. And if we just move around, we can also get something in the background to kind of show its scale. So in the background over here, we've got a larger cactus but over here you can see it's much smaller. So we can show scale just by showing other things in the picture. Now don't forget, if you've seen the lesson on creating toy scenes, we're using that to an effect because you're showing angle, so you've got a different angle from here to here. And that applies to your red subjects as well. If they're a lot larger as well, show they're large by having a family member stand next to it or put your hand next to it for scale. But just doing these little things allows you to be a bit more creative when you're photographing things that are red. And if you want to take it a step further, you can try being a bit more what we call abstract, which is rather than taking a picture of the subject as a whole, only show a portion of it, but clearly showing that it's red. All right, so here's an example I did with the cactus just behind me in its pot. You can see I didn't go with the entire shot of it. I just went with half of it and I actually focused on the pebbles on top rather than the actual red itself. Now what this does is it makes the viewer, the person looking at your photos, look at it in a bit of a different way rather than just staring at the photo going, oh, it's a red pot with a cactus in it. They're looking at it like, okay, there's the cactus, there's the rocks, there's the pot. And it gets them thinking and it makes them look at your photos longer and appreciate them more. So give it a try. You can also do it with big things as well. You can cut it down the middle, only show half of it, or you could zoom in on a particular detail. So for example, a car with the headlights, just focus on the headlights. Or if you have a red bike, you would just focus on the wheel and let the frame 
kind of be part of the image but not the main focus. So rather than taking things that are red, you can include things that are red, which is a different way of looking at it, but a very fun way nonetheless. I hope that makes sense to you all. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. We can't wait to see what you guys submit, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.